Hello, hello, hello. So I've been in parts waiting hell for a little while and haven't made anything. Well, that's not true, but I haven't put any videos out. So I've got some stuff already slightly opened, but I decided to save some of it for a little while. Um, and there are various bits here and I'll explain how they affect my projects coming up. I Can I show this one? Only if it's that way up. Okay. <laughs> There are a few other bits, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's start off with some of the smaller ones, shall we? I want to be careful not to show my address on stream, although I'm fairly sure I've on stream on video. I'm fairly sure I've done it on a stream before. So first off is this. Oh, let's come in a little closer. So this is one of those. Uh, there's two of them, actually. These are micro SD card readers. There's no point in getting one out, but um, they are different from the traditional ones. Now, one of the projects I've been working on for a while is a HAL 9000 um, thing. So you'll remember I designed a PCB for that. And I was working out a circuit using some cheap Chinese chips. Now, they're these ones. These are, gosh, what were they called again? It feels like it was such a long time ago. Oh, just remember, David, I'm sure you can do it. Ah the AC1082 and it's an MP3 module chip. Um, so you usually get them on these breakout boards. Um, but what I did was take one of these, got a little breakout board of my own, soldered it on and tried to recreate the breadboard, the breadboard, the module on a breadboard. Um, but it ain't working. And I've been trying several times to get this working. And I've decided that the part of the module that I'm not exactly copying is the SD card one. So if you look at this SD card, you'll see, and I'll come down a bit closer and we'll focus on that. Mm, focused enough, I can't really see in this little monitor, but. So you'll see on this one, we've got CS, SDK, MOSI, MISO, um, VCC and ground. And on this one, I'll line them up roughly. Well, it's hard to see. Um, but we've got CDN, I think that's like card in or something. Uh, DAT1, data out, ground, um, serial clock, VCC, data in, chip select, and DAT2, which aren't the same. Um, so this has an interface chip on it, and I don't know whether this thing can handle that. So we're going to be trying this out at some point soon. They're probably made by the same company, these. Catalex and OpenSmart. No, they're different. Next up, we've got something I haven't actually opened, so let's open it now. One day I'm going to slice my finger off doing that. What have we got? What? Oh. I've got another one of these. Hang on. Oh, this was from the UK because I was waiting for these ones and they were taking too long. <laughs> and so I ordered one for four pounds from the UK, whereas these are like two pounds delivered from China. Oh, and do you know what? They're exactly the same. Open smart, open smart. Yeah, idiot. I should have just been more patient. What else have we got? We've got this one, which I've already opened. So this one is pretty cool, actually. So let's get it out of the packet. I won't fire it up or anything, but we will get it out of the packet and have a closer look. So, oh, is it upside down? It is. So we're gonna have to mod this a little bit, I think. But um, this is like a little binary counter display type deal. Well, it's an indicator, isn't it? So you've got um, eight LEDs on there, zero to seven. And if you recall, when I was mucking about with this thingy, you remember that? It was like a, an LCD display and I just wanted to set a counter running using one of these ICs. And I had some LEDs all bunched up in here so I could see what the output was and why I wasn't getting the right um, thing on here. So having one of these would have been perfect, saved a lot of space. But if you look on here, you'll see that we've got VCC and these are all to ground. So these won't turn on unless these pins are grounded. So what we're gonna have to do is scribble that out, put ground, flip all of these around and then output high turns them on, whereas output low turns these ones on. But I couldn't find the version um, of this that had the output uh, high turns them on. So we're just gonna flip the LEDs around. Might even change the color. 
who knows. Next up, I've got another open one, and this one's inspired by Sion, the unexpected maker. Now, when I was designing that, um, the HAL board, I needed a, an amplifier. Now, I'm not sure I can use this because I think I might need a differential amplifier, but this is a PAM 8301. Now, I love the PAM 8403, which you can see on this board here. I love this chip, it's great. Well, I love the module is what I love actually. And it's fairly simple. Um, and these are like these tiny six pin ICs, like absolutely minuscule. Let's see if I can, like minuscule. And they have like a tiny component count that you need to stick to to make them work. So I'm um, quite excited to try these out. But again, I'm gonna be figuring out the HAL board first. So next up, we've got this one, which is integrated circuit, but it comes in a box. So I don't really know what it is. So we're just going to carve into it. Now I ordered some battery holder things. So it might be that these are them. Oh, it is. Oh my God, they're exciting looking. These better be doubles. Oh, they are. So these are double triple A battery holders for SMD boards. That's kind of nice. I like it. So the idea was I'm going to be making this blooming ninja. <laughs> okay, he's not getting it for Christmas. This is Toby. Remember that kid I made um, a robot that, uh, what was he? Brian the robot. Well, I kind of promised him a ninja which was stupid. And he sort of wants something a bit like this, I think. Um, and so I'm gonna have to make him a ninja. And I said that that's what those displays were for. Where are they? Ah, well, we'll come back to that actually. So I said I, I wanted to do that. And I thought, I don't wanna give him a lithium battery or a rechargeable thing, but not, well, the batteries can be rechargeable. But uh, so I thought if I get one of these an SMD on the back, and maybe it could even be right at the bottom so the center of mass is quite low. Who knows? Anyway, that's what they're for. So I bought 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 10. And hopefully that'll be enough for a prototype run. We'll see. Anyway, that's what those are for. Next up, we've got one to do with that very same thing. So can I show you that side? I can. I've already opened this, but it is these. So that is 10 of those little displays, the HPD. Oh, what were they? I cannot remember. It doesn't actually say on them. Yes, it does. HD, HPDL1414. So those are those little displays. And this is what I was making with them, if you remember. Oh, this is the board that I needed those little, uh, that little LED thing. So I was making the four letter word bot. Now, unfortunately, there's going to have to be a version that's a ninja robot, okay? So we're all going to have to deal with the fact that I'm going to have to develop that. But the four-letter word bot, good or bad four-letter words, is what it's going to be. So I've got 10, and I'm not going to buy any more. I think we're just going to have a 10 run of this little project. Okay, next up is something that was sent to me by Adam Welch. Now, Adam sent me... I mean, he had packed it better than this. I have looked inside and then taped it up. Oh, f So, oh. oh yeah, I forgot Adam's super organized that everything else is on this piece of paper here. Anyway, this is what it is, look. Um, the PWM85 by, um, Oh, he's, he's credited Julian Eilert there, which is nice, uh, and Adam Welch. And so Adam Software's on here for the PWM85, and basically the circuit is similar to, to Julian's. Um, and so the PWM85 is a solar charge controller for charging up 12 volt batteries from a solar panel. And the reason it's, um, Julian's original was PWM5, and it used a PIC microcontroller Oh God, I would love to remember what it was. Is it like a, I don't know, it was an eight pin, wasn't it? I don't know what that would be. But this one uses an 80 tiny 85 just there, hopefully. 
he's included it programmed because otherwise oh no there are headers there I can see the headers but in the packet we have is it like a big old MOSFET there and then the 80 tiny 85 and in here hello look at this uh, attached to all the parts you need to build the PWM85. I'd added a couple of spares for the smaller items in case they ping off somewhere. Who would be fool enough to do that? So it, he's actually put all of the... Oh, look at that. That is very well organized. Uh, the code can be found along with various files which may be of interest. I hope you enjoy building the kit, Adam. Well, I very much look forward to it. I have sort of put some prep in for this because this arrived like two weeks ago, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Um, but in prep, I did buy, buy, no, beg, borrowed, stolen, one of these. Ugh. So this is a, what is it? Lead acid battery or is it a gel one? Oh no, it's a gel one. So it's um, a gel lead battery I'm assuming anyway it's um, a 12 volt battery thing is I don't know anything about this so far I've not even looked into it so Adam knew that I was interested in getting into it so he sent me oh god it's heavy he sent me the charge controller I've yet to even buy a solar panel so I'm still behind on that right holy moly we're getting there next up oh so on. It's like you basically just want your address everywhere. Right, we're going to have to do this so that I'm just going to open it. Hang on a minute. I just have to open it off camera. For heaven's sake. Oh good, there's an inner bag. There's an inner bag people. We're all right. So inside the inner bag of Sion's postal thingy. There you go. You can tune show you that from Bentley East Post Shop. Oh, that barcode's probably got something on it. Oh, whatever. Um, is this, this is, oh mate, that's so cute. I love it. This is the 2019 hackable badge from the unexpected maker. So I'll be putting this together in one of those lazy Sunday things, just like I will that PWM 85, I imagine. I'm super excited, but thank you very much, mate. He sent it to me because he knows I like making kits and I do love the badges. So, um, well, mate, when I eventually make that other badge, where did that even go? Have I still got it around? Here it is. When I eventually do that, <laughs> taken a while David uh, when I eventually do that I shall send you one in return and expect you to build it live and then find out it doesn't work so there I've seen see on build this badge already it looks really really cool oh I won't put it back in there right and the very last item today is massive it's in a big old box um, I'm going to take it out of this plastic before I show it to you because that's where the address is so just believe me when I say that I had done it oh no that's a terrible sign this could all be awful on the outside of the box is <laughs> taped one of these the death adapter I think would be it's the way it'd be described oh look at that it looks beautiful um so you can guess that I bought this from China, right? Well, I did, and it's taken four months-ish to arrive. Hang on a minute. August, beginning of August, August, September, October, November. Okay, about four months. Let's get this open. Oh my Lord, is the thing that I thought it was. Okay, so in the box, we have this. I wonder if we can fire it up. It does not take how many volts? I think this would explode if I plugged it into that. Well, we're not gonna do this now because I'm unsure what voltage it will take. I thought it was something like 70 volts. By the way, I should probably tell you what this is. So, do you remember that film, Philadelphia? when they're gonna fire the dude because 
Yeah, uh, would you mind hitting the windows? Yeah. Anyway, love that film. It's great. There is a meeting in an office and they have this sort of semi-transparent window stuff. And then when you pass power through it or vice versa, it turns opaque or transparent. I don't know which way around it is. This seems pretty opaque right now. So maybe you have to pass current through it. But the idea is that it's essentially like a liquid crystal display and all the crystals line up in a certain fashion. And then when you put some charge to it, they let more light through somehow. Anyway, we're gonna play around with it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I've no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I just wanted to get it. But it was 15.99, but can you believe that? Fairly expensive stuff. You don't see it around a lot. I mean, I've never been in an office or a building that's had it. So I think it's fairly exciting. What's underneath here? It's like one of these uh, just binder things. So there are our connections. Oh, hello. So we've got two different layers here. I can feel at the different layers actually. So the positive layer is on the backhand side and it feels like the negative layer is on the top or vice versa. I don't really know for absolutely sure. Anyway, that's going to be something for another day. If anyone's got any experience with working with these, I'd love to know what voltage I should be driving it at, but I'm going to have to go off and do a little bit of research and maybe start really low. I'm fairly sure it just needs DC. So I don't know what this is. Yeah, I really am sure, unless it's just got a bloody diode in there. I was absolutely sure it's not AC, but we will find out at a later time. All right, I'll speak to you all soon.